Hey, greeners, and thank you for tuning in to Jeffrey B. Valentine's show. I'm glad to have you. I would like to give a shout out. I would like to say thank you for your support and your prayers to our viewers in Virginia, West Virginia, Tennessee. Um, I thank you, Pastor John, for, for your many blessings and your support for this ministry, JVV ministry, and for this particular show. We are continuing dealing with human, human trafficking, sex trafficking, child trafficking. My special guest, I'm excited that she's going to spend some time with us, Rachel White. Friends and family, please don't go anywhere. Please stay tuned and, and be a part of this awareness, this information dealing with trafficking. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more of the Jeffrey B. Valentine Show. Discover the new comfort of sports. Introducing the Poncho Pillow. Enjoy the game in comfort with the Poncho Pillow. The Poncho Pillow is multifunctional. It's a seat cushion, a blanket, a poncho, a small tote bag. Get your Poncho Pillow now. Okay. Uh, welcome back to the show. As you can see, my friend, Rachel White. How you doing, Rachel? Very well, thank you. Thank you for spending some time with mm. us, uh, responding to us with mm -hmm. this topic, with this subject. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife did a great job of the research, and mm -hmm. we thank Michelle. <laughs> yes, she's a great resource. <laughs> yes, uh, for connecting us. Mm -hmm. uh, just tell us about yourself. What you been Well, doing? I'm a local mental health professional. Mm -hmm. I am also a local pastor's wife, and wait you know, a minute, no, oh, yeah, <laughs> wait a minute, I didn't reveal that secret when I <laughs> no, first met you. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, so um, you know, I've I've been involved in human trafficking only for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. um, when I began to hear the story of the plight of these women, um, and began to understand, you know, what their experiences were like. Um, I realized that, you know, I had something that I could give, and that was free counseling services. So that's kind of how I got started um, in working with survivors, was just offering them free mental health support. Mm -hmm. um, and so that went really well, but as I did a lot more research, we found out that there's not a lot of places in the country where these women can go to heal. Um, that's right. That's to live, right. you know, and to, to get back on their feet. And so that's why we exist. Uh, Rachel White is the founder of Her Song. Right. Right? Let's talk mm -hmm. about Her Song. Her Song um, <laughs> is my dream, actually, and my passion. And, you know, we, we are doing a lot of really hard work right now in the community, just laying the groundwork. Um, getting the word out to the community of the needs that these women have in their life and how we have an opportunity as the body of Christ, um, as the community of Jacksonville, to provide a safe place for them so that they can heal from the trauma and the experience Great. that they've had. Great, a lot of survivors. Yeah, we've had um, a handful of survivors in the last year and, you know, it's not it's we do this one at a time one woman at a time oh, that's good. I if love you can that. imagine the story of these women um, many of these women have uh, a long history of abuse they have a long history of um, chaos and instability in their lives and um, you know most of it started back in their childhood mm -hmm. uh, the vast majority of these women were sexually abused as children many of them come from homes where there's no parental support there's drug or alcohol abuse Maybe mom was also trapped in the sex trade. Um, you know, so we see a lot of that in the family life, a lot of instability for these young ladies um, and, and boys as well. Um, and so what happens, we call these the push factors. Okay. These are the things that, that set these young girls up to, to be out on the streets and that push them out from their homes. You know, a home, a family is a place where we're supposed to be nurtured yes. and cared for and where our needs are met. Right. And when a family becomes a violent place or a place of hurt and abuse um, or chaos, mm -hmm. um, it's not a safe place for children. And these children are pushed out then onto the streets. And, and the traffickers are really smart. Um, there's actually books out there on how to, how to do this. What? Yes. You can go on Amazon and, and purchase a book on how to be a pimp. 
And um, you know, there's, help us. there is a, a strategy, believe it or not, and these guys are very intelligent, and they prey on the weaknesses of these young girls. Um, so, you know, imagine yourself growing up in an environment where you have no stability. Right. There's no safety. There's nobody fighting for you. There's mm -hmm. nobody nurturing you and meeting those most basic needs of food, shelter, water, clothing, love and belonging, a sense of security. Um, you know, and that's how we're wired. We're wired for human connection. And so when you don't have that in your home and you're pushed out, these traffickers are there and they're very savvy and they understand that these are basic human needs and they prey on the needs that these young people have. So they lure them in through charm, um, gifts, expensive gifts, hey, I'll do your hair or, you know, they, they have even been known to date some of the girls and, and become their boyfriend. And over months of time, you know, grooming these young girls to then be turned out into the com commercial sex industry. Um, so there's a wow. lot of history for each survivor. And so when we, when, we, when we take a survivor on and she engages in, in our programming, it's a long journey. Yes, you know, this is no, there's no quick fix for this right. kind of trauma and yes. pain and suffering. Yeah. But you know what? In, in that most dark place, there's hope. They always. <laughs> As long as you are breathing. Yeah, there's, there's hope. hope. Mm -hmm. So as we walk with these ladies, um, you know, they have a variety of needs and we try to do our best to meet the needs that we can and, and refer them out into um, to other service providers. We're a part of the Northeast Florida Human Trafficking Coalition, which is an outstanding organization that comes together to collaborate right. and try to meet the needs of survivors because one group might be able to do one piece and another group the mm -hmm. other. So we try to work together. Many members. That's right, <laughs> many body. members, that's, that's right. right. So, mm -hmm. so we, we team up and we work together to try to help these women. Um, and it's really awesome to see them begin as they just take those baby steps and they begin to realize I don't have to be defined by my past oh. and my past experiences. Come on, yeah, yes. I'm preaching now, yes, I'm telling you. You, <laughs> you know, and these women start to understand that um, they do have a purpose, that yeah. there is new life, you know, yes. that's possible. Come on and, and share that with us. Uh huh. Yes. So, um, you know, it's been really rewarding work, really rewarding work to walk with these survivors. Do you find, is this, okay, I know we live in an adulterous and a wicked mm -hmm, generation. Mm -hmm. As the body of Christ, we are the light of the world. Yeah. And we have the answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I right? Mm -hmm. We have the answer. Right, we I are agree. the salt mm -hmm, in the earth. Mm -hmm. if, if, if the salt loses favor, the salt is no good, right? right? We are the salt and light of the earth. If we, uh, don't have the holy boldness mm -hmm. to step in to be that light and to share with someone that they don't have to okay let me say this put let, mm -hmm. let me say this Rachel my past don't have to look like my future that's right and my future don't have to look like my past that's right as long as if I can let go of my past my future could be bright that's right. you agree with that uh -huh, can we instill that in mm -hmm. these kids yes we can and our, our mission, while things are going very well for us, is yet unfulfilled at this time because what we have seen in the, the lives of these women is that lack of stability mm. just keeps them in that cycle of chaos. Yes. And so oh, that's real good. a home is a place of love yes, and safety. Yes. 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 And that is what we are working to create in our oh, community. Can you give some yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes. That is what we are working to create right here in Jacksonville is a safe home where these women can rest, where they can begin to understand what it feels like to have peace, to have safety, to not be afraid, um, to, to, to no longer fear violence. Mm. Um, our survivors have, every one of them has been not only a victim of, of horrible crime, the horrible crime of, of human trafficking, but they are often, most of the time, victims of other types of violence. And many of our girls are, are gang raped. They are raped at knife point, at gun point. I talk to women who've had machetes held to their neck. Um, these women are abused. I, I know women who've been beaten with like a big stick until they just curled up in a ball and gave up and thought they were going to die. Um, we've heard stories of women who, whose family members have been threatened with violence. Um, they threatened to kill little brother or the, the pet, the family dog. 
Um, so it's a, it's a very dark place um, that these women are coming from, and we have an opportunity to provide a beautiful, safe environment for them where they can get the help that they need. Oh, man, don't sorry. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Mm. <laughs> don't rascals. Yeah. That's safe. Am I safe by calling rascals? Yeah, that's a safe word. <laughs> <laughs> don't rascals. Uh, yeah. Lord, have mercy on them. Yes. Um, it's, it's, like I said for the past couple of weeks, it's bigger than what we think. It is. It's right before mm -hmm. us. Uh, we're trying to bring awareness to the community and to the church world. Yes. We're trying to bring, that's, what, that's why I asked you to come to, so we yeah. can partner with her song. Yes. So some kind of way we can use this platform yeah. to bring an awareness. Mm -hmm. I got to take a quick break. Uh, Y'all forgive me how I sound. and I get mad. Everybody know I love the babies. Mm -hmm. I love the kids. I got to yeah. take a quick break. I'll be right back. Men's Closet, a one-stop shop for men's and boys' clothing, wants you to look good year-round with the best prices in town. Get two suits for $100. Stacy Adams suits, buy one, get one free. Are you big or tall? Men's Closet has all sizes and does alterations on site. Caps, clergy ropes, tuxedo rentals, we do it all. Including casual wear like two-piece sets, just $39.99, or cargo shorts, two for $40. There isn't a look or style you can't get at Men's Closet. When you look good, we look good. Uh, welcome back to the show. I'm here with Rachel White, her song. Uh, we'll get ready to dive into the Freedom Campaign. Let's talk yes. about that. Let's talk about that. <laughs> um, we, we need your help um, as a body of Christ, as believers, um, as a community. We need your help to make this mission happen. Um, we're, we're a volunteer organization right now, and we are um, doing the best that we can do to meet the needs of survivors in our community. Mm -hmm. But in order to open this safe home for these survivors, um, that's where we need your help. And, you know, w we started a freedom campaign to ask people to consider, to pray, to, to look at their budgets, and see what they can give and become a faithful monthly giving partner with her song. Yes. And so we're not asking for a lot of money. If we had a lot wait a of people, <laughs> wait a minute, listen to my theory. Okay, go, if okay. we have the body of Christ, everyone giving $10 a month, That's you know, we good. spend more than that on coffee in a week, That's you know, correct, yes. and $10 a month, if, if we had the churches rising up and the members saying, yes, we believe that this is important, um, work in our world and in the Northeast Florida area and you know then we would be able to open our doors today so that's what we're working towards we we're have okay. a freedom campaign we're asking people to consider giving on a monthly basis to support our mission Rachel I'm glad you said that um, our viewers between Tennessee mm -hmm. Virginia West Virginia the state of Florida and Georgia mm -hmm. we reach between 8 to 10 million viewers Wow. I know, and I imagine if everyone is watching this program, now we want you to give more than a dollar, but there's no amount great or no amount of small. Right. But if each and last one of you pray and ask God, you're sowing into good ground. Mm -hmm. We are a 501c3 ministry. You can write it off. That's right. Uh, uh, you could go to my website, uh, click on give. Right there, we go through PayPal. You, there's a spot where you can list where you want your funds to go to. 100% of your proceeds go directly. We will not keep a dime or a penny. 100 proceeds will directly go to these foundations. Mm -hmm. and, and please, please give. Mm -hmm. You can see where your money is going. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. That's you can right. see it. <laughs> it's good work. <laughs> Exactly. It's, it's good work. Mm -hmm. It is needed. Let's talk about more of the programs you guys okay. have brought in. Okay. All right. Well, um, what we're doing right now is we offer a weekly support group for our survivors, and it's a purpose group, and it's built on the foundation that God has a purpose for every person's life. And so we gather as a group, we work through a curriculum, we walk the ladies through specific steps, helping them learn oh, who good. they are, that's you know, good. what are that's my good. gifts, what are my talents, because a lot of these young girls have been taught that all they're good for is yes. sexual acts and that they're only worth as much as their body is yes. worth. And so we really help our girls get into um, 
our young ladies get into figuring out what is my personality, what are those gifts, what are my talents, and we really walk with them and have a lot of um, vibrant dialogue about what their dreams and what do oh, they I see themselves it. doing. I love it. Their I dreams, it. their passions, yes. and, and so we walk them through a very specific process. Um, and so we're in the middle of doing a group right now, and we've got a handful of ladies that we've been working with, so we'll be having a graduation for them sometime in September. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. And we actually have a really special survivor that we've been working with for a couple of years. And I, I could tell a little piece of her story. Would okay. that be okay? She's yes, giving me fine. permission. Names are not yeah, we don't give yeah, names. Call us but Samantha. Yeah. So <laughs> she she came to us actually a referral through the FBI. And again, we collaborate with the coalition. So so you know, oftentimes we'll get referrals from people on the coalition, which includes law enforcement. Okay, great. That's great. Um, JSO, FBI. Um, so we got a referral. Um, so we began meeting with this young lady, talking with her, hearing her story, um, and really just saw tremendous potential in this young lady. She came to us um, sober. She was working on getting um, sober, and so oh, she's been right. sober now for a couple of years, over two years now. Amen, somebody. Yeah, we're so <laughs> excited for her. Yes. That's a huge, huge step. She's uh, regained custody of two of her children. Oh, praise um, God. And uh, she's, she's doing very well. Um, prior to us meeting her, though, she was held in bondage by a local trafficker through her drug addiction. And this was a guy that was, you know, basically waiting for her, setting up appointments for her, and waiting for her with the drugs so that they could exchange the money for drugs. Um, she uh, was abandoned by her husband. He left her, and she just had really pocket change to her name and had nowhere to go and was already addicted to pain medication from a surgery that she had had and through another female was lured into the underground sex economy. And so oftentimes we might think, oh, it's just a bunch of bad guys, but the traffickers do have women working for them in the recruiting process. It's a big industry. It is a big industry. Yeah, so, so she was recruited actually by a friend, someone that she knew. Um, and got just got trapped in that dark dark world and believe it or not the day she got arrested was a good day for her I believe it yes and she really had that moment in jail when she said what in the world am I gonna do with my life and she tells a beautiful story and one day I, I really think that she'll be working with us at her song mm -hmm. um, I really do we're just trying to train her as much as possible That's right good. now and walk with her um, but she has a heart for women just like her she has a heart for women. She knows what it's like to be destitute, to have no money, no job, um, to be abandoned. Um, she was pushed out of her house at 16 years old because her mom had a drug addiction. Um, her mom was also in the sex trade. So you see all those push factors that we talked about before that really led her to this place because... It, I don't mean to catch up. You yeah. think it's a generation of curse or someone before them? Well, and, and I think, you know, as far as like... Uh, you know, like a curse, like mm -hmm. something like that? No, but yes. So okay. um, yes, in the sense that, you know, if we look back in the Bible in Deuteronomy 6, you know, God charges the families, the parents to train their children in so many ways. Say it, say it. Yes, right. and yes. you know, we have that responsibility. We, and God's gonna hold us accountable. Yes, and yes. we're supposed to teach them and train them and talk to them. That's correct. And not in a classroom setting, but as you go about your way. And right. when that's missing from our society, the family falls apart. Yes. And so you see from generation to generation, those things that are passed along. Yes, and you, you know? can see the enemy taking the family Definitely. as we speak. The fam well, mm -hmm. first is the marriage. Yes. The family. And, and unfortunately, yeah. this is the, the results of it. It is. It is. Uh, matter of fact, uh, First Lady, <laughs> <laughs> let's give a shout out to your husband. Oh, okay. Pastor. Oh, hey, Paul. <laughs> hey, handsome boyfriend. How are you? No, my husband's a wonderful pastor. He's a very loving guy. He loves to preach the word, and yes. he's, a, he's a shepherd at heart. And he does a great job of just loving people right where they're at. So, you have a ministry? It's Faith Bridge Church. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're here locally in Jacksonville. Well, on, give us the address. Hey, Faith my... Bridge, 13720 <laughs> McCormick Road. We're there on Sundays and Wednesdays. Our services are at 9 and 1030. And we're a very casual church, come as you are. I love it. We would love to be friends with you, so anybody is welcome. I love it. You know, um, when, I'm, when I'm preaching, when I'm ministering, this right here is because of the show. I have a sponsor. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
But when I'm <laughs> preaching the gospel, I'm in my t-shirt, mm -hmm. blue jeans. Mm -hmm. um, maybe about five or six years ago, I was, uh, my wife and I was out witnessing and mm -hmm. we invited this family to the church. And she said to me, well, I would love to go, but I don't have no church clothes. Mm -hmm. And I asked her, well, what is church clothes? Mm -hmm. Anybody can answer that? Mm -hmm. What is church clothes? Yeah. The, the, the scripture said, Jesus said, come as you are. That's right. You know, when I got saved, I came in my club clothes. I had my earrings uh -huh. on and my jewelry. Uh -huh. And God, you know, saved me. So yeah. what is church clothes? We just mm -hmm. got to love them who they are. That's right. You agree with that? I agree with that because, you know, the word teaches us that God looks at the heart. Right. He doesn't look at the outward appearance of man. Correct. And that w what's in our heart is what's most important. And, you know, it doesn't profit anybody anything if we start making a bunch of man-made rules for people to follow. <laughs> I agree. And if we, as believers, to live according to what the scripture says, mm -hmm. when we deal with these children, yes. when we deal with those that's the homeless, mm -hmm. uh, even the game bangers, and yeah. you're looking at their dregs, yeah. we need to get past their appearance yes. and speak to the heart. Well, we got to take a quick break. I'm here with her son, the founder, Rachel White. Uh, we got to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Discover the new comfort of sports. Too many seat cushions on the market promise comfort, but only deliver temporary relief from the discomfort of benches and stadium seating. Introducing the Poncho Pillow. It's a two-in-one deluxe stadium seat cushion. It's a combination of function, fashion, and comfort. This patented two-in-one unit is a stadium seat cushion with detachable Velcro poncho. This poncho is made of 200 denier nylon weather-resistant ripstop material. The lining provides comfort against rain and snow. The poncho includes a zippered opening and side zippers, which allows it to transform into a blanket. Large pockets on the interior provide additional storage. The large hood provides superior coverage. The posterior of the poncho can be customized with embroidery. The stadium seat cushion is 4 inches thick and measures 13 by 13 inches. It includes a storage pocket for carrying game day programs. It's also made of 200 denier nylon weather-resistant ripstop material, and it can be custom embroidered. Current basic colors are black, red, and blue. The poncho pillow is designed to provide support and comfort to reduce back and lower posterior pressure generated on the body by the aluminum and plastic stadium seating. No more sitting on hard bleachers wishing the game was over sooner. Enjoy the game in comfort with the Poncho Pillow. The Poncho Pillow is multifunctional. It's a seat cushion, a blanket, a poncho, a small tote bag, and a great promotional product. We can customize the Poncho Pillow when ordering 200 units or more. Get your Poncho Pillow now. And welcome back to the show. I'm here with the founder of her song, her song. Her song. Excuse me. I'm here with the founder of her song, Rachel White. Uh, let's talk about a point of action. How can our viewers be a part? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I think three things come to mind. Okay. Go. Go. Go out. Go get educated. Go to our website, www.hersongjacks. Dot org. That's J-A-X dot org. And we have a learn page and you can get some information about trafficking. There's some good links there. Um, there's other great websites, the Polaris Project. Um, you can follow us on Facebook or Her Song on Facebook. Um, you can go to our Is page. Is that Facebook backslash mm -hmm. Her Song? Yes. Okay. So you can find us there. Um, so, so you can go. You can go out. You can get educated. You can spread the word. Bring awareness to your community, your Amen. church, yes. your your social group, um, your small group, your Bible study, um, because this is a real issue in our world, and I really believe that we have a calling, as you said, to be a light and be a salt, and yes. so we need to raise the awareness about this, this horrific crime and abuse of innocent people. Um, the next thing you can do is pray. Amen. You know, her song, we, we covet your prayers. We, we need prayers for wisdom as we grow, as we raise money to open this home. Um, we need your prayers as we look at a house this week that somebody has um, been remodeling and they've called us and they oh, said, hey. Oh, it's a done hey, deal. Come on. Yes. <laughs> it's a done deal. It's done. Um, so, yeah, so you can pray for us and you can pray for our survivors. As you can imagine, their journey is so long. Yes. It's a lifelong journey, really. Um, but that, that place of beginning a new life is, is the Hersong home. That's what we really believe. Yes. So you can pray for that um, to come to fruition. Um, 
You can pray for our survivors in their journey, and you can give. And as we talked about earlier, you know, no gift is too small. Um, as you give, we are a 501c3. We are um, a legitimate ministry holding up the word of God and the light and the hope of Jesus Christ to these women. And hopefully we're a witness to the community as well as we Rachel, do that. we want yeah. you to do a research on us. Okay. Look us up. Mm -hmm. Check us out. Now, I totally agree. It's, it's a lot of shady... Uh, <laughs> It's a lot of shady yeah. ministry out there. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of shady organization. Mm -hmm. And we encourage you to look us up, to mm -hmm. check us out. Call the IRS. Mm -hmm. uh, look, call the, um, we register in the state of Florida, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. Find out if we are legit. Mm -hmm. You know, then once you find out that we are legit, please. Yes. Please sow a seed and mm -hmm. give. Give to this great, great work. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when you sow into good ground, that's right. you'll reap a good harvest. Yeah. Amen. That's right. And I want, I want everybody to know that, you know, last year in Jacksonville, there were 51 women recovered by JSO that had been trafficked. Right here in Duval? Right here in Duval County. Right here in Duval. And, you know, it's very difficult for us as a coalition to find places for all of these women to go. And if you, you don't go back to a family that abused you. You don't go back to a, an abusive environment. You do because that's all you know. Right. And so if there's no alternative for this women, where will they go? And that really is my appeal. That's what's on my heart with her song is that we would have a place for these women to go. Amen, amen. Give your information once again. Okay, you can find us at www.hersongjacks.org. All right, now, if someone would like to know, well, how can I be a believer? Mm. How can I be a child of God? Mm -hmm. uh, what do I have to do? Is it by works? Uh, mm. Do I have to do some type of initiation? Uh, mm. uh, what do I need to do to be a, mm -hmm. a child of God? Well, first of all, I think people um, need to know that God is a loving God and that he longs for us to draw near to him mm -hmm. and that he gives us all that choice. And the thing that separates for us from God is our own sin. Yes. It's not something that God has done. It's something that we have willfully chose, chosen in our own lives. And um, we're separated from God because of that sin. Yet in yes. his loving kindness, yes. he has extended that invitation to us to come through Christ, his one and only son who died for us, yes. to draw near then and be in relationship with him. And Really, becoming a believer is about stepping from one life into the next, and it's about surrendering your heart and your will and your life and believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I'll tell you what, that's the bravest prayer you can pray, My and God. when you do, you will reap wonderful benefits. My God, what if I did this terrible thing? Mm -hmm. God don't want me. He can't, he can't want me because I did this terrible thing. Mm -hmm. Does it matter? Does it matter? It matters in the sense that, that you own that and you confess that before God. Yes. And after that, the blood of Christ was shed to wash us clean <laughs> of our sins. I'm sorry. Thank you for tuning in <laughs> and watching. We are running out of time. Um, please, please remember Rachel White, First Lady White, will be with <laughs> us throughout the year. We pray that this is a family affair. Mm -hmm. uh, she's the founder of her song. I want to thank you for tuning in, spending some time with us as we're dealing with this sick, with this topic, mm -hmm, trafficking, mm -hmm. sex trafficking, human trafficking, child trafficking, mm -hmm. and survivors. Um, I love you. I thank God for you. Remember, love is in love until you give it away. Mm -hmm. Repent, forgive, and live. i see you next week. God bless. Mm -hmm. <laughs>